Maintenance is absolutely vital for your GEMA powder coating equipment. Let's talk about the major maintenance points involved with GEMA's OptiFlex line of powder units. Hey, I'm Michael with Finishing Tech. Thanks for joining us here today at the Spray Booth. Let's take a few moments and go over the main maintenance areas on GEMA's OptiFlex 2 and Pro lines of manual powder units. To keep your machines operating at peak efficiency, this is important in order to maintain that excellent finish and precise powder flow GEMA's equipment is known for. Finishing Technologies recommends that you keep a few wear parts on hand so that you always have some key replacements that help prevent costly downtime. In fact, we offer a wear parts kit for the Opti 2 and OptiFlex Pro systems. These parts were organized in a convenient box which shows replacement part numbers to easily reorder as you use the parts. We recommend that you restock your wear parts kit as you go so you always have what you need. See our website for details and give us a call to order one for your shop. That said, as far as wear parts for the manual box feed units go, let's start at the beginning. The air regulator on the back of the unit has a filter element in it. This is important because the quality of your air definitely affects your coating's finish quality out the other end. Clean, dry air is critical for any finishing equipment. How often you need to replace this also depends on your shop air quality. You may simply wait for when this filter turns pink or yellow, but we recommend that you preventatively replace this at least once a year as a simple maintenance step. Next, here at the bottom of the powder intake tube is the unit's fluidizing ring. We recommend preventatively replacing this twice a year. This fluidizing ring will experience a reduced performance over time as powder embeds itself into the face of the ring. Depending on inbound air quality, this element can also see a slow reduction in performance as it loads with airborne moisture and oils. Downstream from the fluidizing ring are the powder pump o-rings and base gasket. The o-rings on these Venturi pumps wear over time as you remove and install the pump repeatedly during color changes. Failed o-rings can lead to unmetered air entering the coating process, which can cause a pulsing effect at the front of the powder gun. At the heart of this system is the powder pump insert. This PTFE insert is designed to last for around a month if you're spraying powder Monday through Friday for eight hours a day, depending on the type of powder you're spraying. This insert helps maintain consistent supply of powder through your system, and a worn out insert usually means you need to unnecessarily ramp up your air settings to do the same amount of work. If you can't tell visually how worn out your sleeve has become, use this wear gauge tool. One came with your unit, or we sell them separately. If the insert is worn out, this gauge will insert all the way up to the shoulder. A fresh insert, you should see about an inch left on the insert tool. A lot of shops will preventatively replace these monthly. An often overlooked filter element in these systems are the conveying and supplementary air filters. These are located in the red and black housings on the top of the powder pump. A quick test for these filters is to disconnect them from the couplers and attempt to blow through the fittings to see if you can get air at the front of the pump. These filters last a long time when they're supplied with good clean air, or you may wish to change them out about once or twice a year. Your entire powder hose run is technically a wear part, though we most commonly see wear right here at the bend near the powder pump. If you notice this spot getting worn out, you can simply shorten the hose and reattach it to the powder fitting. As long as your hose and cable set are free from damage, you're golden. You may choose as a preventative maintenance step to replace your hose annually and some shops choose to have a separate hose run for different colors or powder chemistries. Next up on wear parts to monitor, the O-rings and fittings at the powder hose junction at the base of the gun. The green O-rings at the powder hose fitting tend to wear over time, as will the PTFE tube this fitting slides into inside the gun handle. When the O-rings experience enough wear, you can end up with unmetered air entering this process. If you don't need to use a quick release collar to disconnect your powder hose, in other words, the hose just sort of falls out, the O-rings on this tube are probably worn out. The tube itself can last for years, but is worth keeping an eye on. With proper gun cleaning, the powder gun itself should last for a long time. Poor cleaning can lead to buildup inside the gun body, where powder turns a corner. I've seen buildup so bad the entire gun body required replacement. Unusual, but possible. So practice good cleaning techniques and you should be fine. The final wear part I'd like to cover is the electrode assembly and spray nozzle here at the front of the gun. As powder flows through the electrode holder assembly, it slowly wears on the V-shaped splitter inside. Over time, this can actually end up sending more powder to the outside edges of your fan pattern, kind of like tiger stripes on a liquid gun. Similarly, the nozzle itself needs periodic replacement, as the opening will wear larger over time. 
And if your nozzle looks like this, you are long overdue for a replacement. These electrode assemblies should last for months, depending on your powder and settings. It's always a good idea to keep a spare on hand, which is why the electrode holder and an assortment of nozzles are included in our maintenance parts kit. So there you have the bigger areas requiring regular maintenance for your GEMA OptiFlex units. Other models, such as the fluidizing or hopper unit, or various lab models, may have additional needs, so let us know if you need help with those. A lot of our customers choose preventative maintenance and have schedules for replacing parts regularly. The GEMA e-app, which you can download and use with your OptiFlex Pro units, can help you track down what needs to be maintained as you go, offering reminders on some of these key areas. This, plus our maintenance kits, can help you be sure your equipment is efficient and reliable. Questions or need help? All of our contact information is right here on the screen. We're also your go-to service center if you need repairs or additional help with regular maintenance. Let us know what you need, that's what we're here for. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this helps you OptiFlex users out there. Keep spraying and we'll see you next time.